was your day. <laughs> so, yeah, it was your day. So Spencer's back from another day at childcare. And so we're going to give him a feed. And I have been, it's actually a good time to, I'll, well, I'll put him on, I'll put him on the booby because <laughs> he's, he's blowing raspberries, which is always, oh, actually, we've got our whole, we've got our pillow collection going on here. Oh, that's a good one. We're pretty much all small buddies. Me, Piper, Spencer, we do spend quite a lot of time on the floor these days. <laughs> And because I've got to be honest, now that he's a little bit older, feeding on the floor is getting easier because now he can sort of walk, well, obviously on the bed too, but he can stretch out. Yeah, come here, love. It's been a long day, hasn't it, darling? Yeah, yeah I know. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Come here. Come here. It's been a long day. Let's get you settled first. Come here. Oh, I still automatically do nipple to nose. I mean, I was taught nipple to nose by the lactation consultant. No, I still do it. I, I mean, obviously, I don't think I have to, but I can certainly smell the milk when they're newborns. But um, now that we've got him settled. So, yeah, I, I've been reading articles about the benefits of breastfeeding beyond one. I mean, the World Health Organization does say um, two and beyond. And basically, after one, obviously, they're getting a lot of nutrition from other sources as well, like they're eating solids. But now it is still a really good nutritional benefit. And breast milk does contain all those fantastic things. Like it's good for their immune system and it's got all the nutrients in it that, that newborn babies need to grow. And it's got, um, you know, all those um, growth factors and all that sort of thing. But also what it's good for is it's good for their emotional development too or their, or their feeling of emotional comfort and safety. Because one article that I was just reading was saying that the breast is very much their home away from home. And especially with toddlers, the article was saying that when toddlers are exploring their environment and they're doing something new and things are getting a little bit much for them, sometimes running to mum and having a feed at the breast, even if they're not particularly hungry, is a way to reconnect themselves to themselves again, um, really. Just, I guess, if you can think of it as a little bit of um, quiet time or mind space that adults might seek if things are getting a little bit too overwhelming. So that's what toddlers who are being breastfed can use the breast for. It's kind of like their little safe haven that they'll go to, <laughs> that they can sort of calm themselves down, reconnect, and especially when they've been away in daycare for the day, it's a way to reconnect with their mum as well. So I'm so happy that we're continuing this breastfeeding journey. And I, I do genuinely believe it's good for Spencer. And it's, um, yeah, it's just such a beautiful thing to do. I just, I just really love, just love nursing him and love looking after him. And yeah, don't know, darling. Oh, and it's funny, the article is also talking about acrobatic breastfeeding when babies become toddlers and they learn that they can breastfeed in all sorts of different contortions, like, <laughs> you know, they don't have to be held like this. But a good way to centre them if, if the child is getting really active and squirmy, but you're sort of wanting them to focus on feeding and they're needing to, or they're wanting to feed, is to wear a necklace, the article said. See how Spencer's playing with my necklace? So I found that really interesting. That sort of centres them, or it's a point of focus for them. So yeah, Mum is so happy to feed you and nurse you and hold you. Yes, I am.
funny. <laughs> what you blowing a raspberry for? Baby? You make mommy laugh. You make me laugh. <laughs> What are you whinging about? Eh? <coughs> hey? Should we give you a burpee? Yeah, you do. Is your tummy full? Hey. Should we give you a burpee? <coughs> you, what do you think? <coughs> what do you think? Hey. See, this is where being on the floor is so good. He can just roll off on his own. Hey. <coughs> Come on, let's give you a burpee. I reckon your tummy's pretty full. This is acrobat feeding now, when toddlers learn that they can squirm everywhere and still feed. <laughs> Come on, let's give you a baby. Come on. What do you think? You're climbing back up? No, come on, let's give you a baby. Probably the point in the feed where he's just really getting comfort here. He's probably happy just to hang out here. <laughs> or squirm. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I missed that opportunity. <laughs> he popped off. <laughs> Come on, let's get you and give you a baby. <laughs> Come on. Come on, otherwise your tummy will get too full. Come on. 
<laughs> and no, this doesn't hurt. <laughs> it looks like it might, but it doesn't. <laughs> this this is very normal toddler behaviour. I mean, technically he's a toddler already, but I'm not going to start a toddler vlog till he's walking, and he's not walking yet. So he's 14 months, but he's not walking. So when he does start walking, I'm going to switch over to a toddler vlog. We're still in a baby vlog. But when you're walking, all right, well, look, I'm not going to pull him off. I'm just going to let him squirm around here. Oh, there we go. Come on, let's give you a bit. bit. Oh, and then when your tummy settled down a little bit, we'll pop you on the other side. Come here. Yeah, I know, but you're very full after, you're full after daycare. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, mine. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right, let's sit you down. Come here. All right. Well, now that he's... It's all right, Danny. Now that he's set up, I'm going to take that pillow away. And this is what he's been doing at the end of the feed, actually. And I... <laughs> this... I know, this looks awkward. This is, this is acrobatic feeding. Come here. Um, let's go into a koala hold then. So this is a koala hold. And he's actually been doing a lot of this at the end of a feed. So he likes then to just sit in my lap. And I actually think this is... Oh, was that a bird? Oh no, that's just grunting. I think this might be his way actually of perhaps getting the high milk now that's left at home. He's, he's pretty... Oh, now he wants the other breast, okay. All right, look, he knows, he knows there's another milk bottle sitting there. <laughs> he, he absolutely knows where his milk's coming from. <laughs> Come on. Do you know, it's so funny, before I had Amity, my daughter, I used to always say that I thought the time to stop breastfeeding was when they knew that the milk came from your breasts and when they could start helping themselves to your breasts. But now I totally take that back. I mean, that happens at a really young age, to be honest. Even like four, five, six month old, <clears throat> excuse me, babies start to search for the breast because that's where their milk comes from. And now look at him. You can see he's like actually taking the breast out because it's his bottle. It's his bottle. So I, I totally take that back. I think some extended breastfeeding is just such a good idea and there's so many benefits. So many benefits for mum too. Obviously lowers your risk of diabetes. Um, I don't know, I should look up the list. In, an, in another breastfeeding video, I'll look up the list of all the benefits for mum. There's so many benefits for mum too. Well, you wanted the other bottle, didn't you? Fair enough. the other baby of the house. He's gotten into his bed.
Give you a burpee. Your tummy might be full. Let's give you a burpee and then you might need a bath soon. Hey? What do you think? What do you think, Danny? Papa's gone to bed on your bed. <laughs> Papa's gone to bed on your bed. Thank you.